Hey everybody, it's Steve here. Welcome back to Mega Man 2. And uh, there he is, Dr. Wily, doing his little eyebrow thing. Uh, he's back again. And uh, we're at the point of the game where we get to uh, go into his castle and uh, uh, try and defeat him once and for all. Well, not once and for all, as, as we all know by now. Um, this is the first time we actually get to see the outside of uh, Dr. Wily's castle, as well as the, uh, the little map that uh, kind of shows you um, how many levels there are and where you are within uh, within Dr. Wily's castle. Uh, it's a staple in the game. It's one that's going to uh, maintain uh, throughout the rest of the series. Um, I'm, I'm, I won't gush over the music here. I'm just going to say that, that, that this is what it's all about as far as what uh, music uh, could be on the original 8-bit uh, Nintendo. Um, I, I think anybody who's a fan of video games knows this song and, and knows just how epic it is. It, it, it's just um, it's just amazing. It's one. It, it's a tune where you could really just pause the game for a while and just listen to the music. It, it, it's that great of a song. It just shows what uh what the Nintendo could really do. I think you can take these things out with your bubble. I really want the, that one up just in case. Of course, then I can't get back up again without using the number three uh, item. Uh, but that's all I'll say about the music. I'll, I'll, I'll stop there. No, Sniper Joe's guarding a, a weapon refill there. I'm probably going to want that. Um, unlike um, previously, um, whenever, whenever you finish a level, uh, any of the uh, the weapons that you've used will be replenished when you move on to the next level. When you're in Dr. Riley's castle, that's not the case. Um, so you've got to really be aware of, uh, of keeping your weapons and items uh, filled so that uh, you know you don't find them empty when you really need them. <coughs> now it's kind of cheap here where the Sniper Joe is just kind of ducked down the ladders. Probably a little bit cowardly, but uh, you know I've, I've never uh, admitted to being you know, a very brave person. You have to use item number one up here. It's the one place where you really have to use it. You have no choice but to use it. Um, it it's a little tricky. You're going to want to really get on the edge of the ladder and then quick, quickly uh, move to the edge of each of those platforms so you can uh, get off in time to reach the ladder on the other side. Uh, that's pretty much it because we're coming up... Uh, to the first boss of uh, the castle, and that is, um, well, you'll see for yourself here. I'm sure you all know by now. You're just going to want to keep jumping, but not too quickly, because as you're about to see, uh, we're, we're going to have company pretty soon. Right there, in the form of a dragon. Uh, so you want to keep hopping, because he's knocking those blocks away behind you, but don't, uh, the screen's going to start auto-scrolling. So you don't want to jump too far ahead. You gotta wait for the screen to catch up. And uh, gosh, in, in these boss battles in the, in the castle, the game kind of goes ballistic, and uh, I think Mega Man's actually actually like invisible right now on my on my, my uh, computer screen. But you can use the quick boomerang. Takes them out, no problem. The one thing that they did change uh, for the Virtual Console release of this game is that uh, the strobe light effect just kind of played down, um, I guess because people were having seizures or something like that, but uh, no time to talk about that because we're moving on to the second level of the castle. I'll see you then. Take it easy. Have a good day. Peace.